Hi, Florian here from CineD. Late last year, German company TentacleSync has released the first audio recording device, the Track E. Let's take a look what the little 32-bit float audio recorder can do after the intro. This is a CineD review. Tentacle Sync is known for years for their affordable solutions to Jam Sync or Time Code Sync different recording devices. Multicam shoots benefit greatly from having the same time code on all devices, but even simple dual system audio gains a lot of speed in editing with a matching time code. The way this works is by connecting two synchronized Sync E devices to a camera and the audio recorder. The time code is recorded on the time code or audio track. In post, you can synchronize the different sources via your NLE's Sync features or use Tentacle's own Sync Studio application. Tentacle Sync's Track E is an audio recorder that fits right into their ecosystem. Let's have a look what's in the box. The Track E itself, it comes with a pre-installed 16 GB micro SD card, a lav microphone with a clip and a furry windscreen, a belt clip and rubber bands to color code the device if you use more than one, a USB cable for charging and configuration, and branded zipper bags, which is a nice touch. To use and configure the Track E, it's best to download the Tentacle app. It's available for iOS and Android in the respective app stores. TentacleSync also provides a setup app for Windows and macOS. You can use the Track E as a standalone audio recorder by using the supplied microphone or any other microphone that has a 3.5 mm jack. But the true power of the device lies in its integration with TentacleSync's ecosystem. With the Tentacle app, you can add the Track E to your list of devices and sync them exactly the way you would with two or more Sync E's. The Track E and the Sync E are now running the same timecode. Plug the Track E into your camera's microphone input and timecode is recorded to the camera's audio track. Put the Track E on your talent and start recording. You end up with timecode synced audio and video files that you can put into your NLE of your choice and uh, sync it up there. Tentacle Sync is offering the Tentacle Sync Studio software to sync up your rushes if your NLE cannot read audio timecode. Another awesome feature is the Track E's ability to record 32 bit float audio. Let me explain. Conventional 16 bit audio recorders can capture from minus 96 to 0 dB. A 24 bit recorder captures from minus 144 to 0 dB of dynamic range. Everything louder than this 0 dB will clip and distort, resulting in unusable audio. In a 32-bit float file, the data is stored differently. Using decimal points and exponents, long story short, nifty math allows much more dynamic range in a 32-bit float file as opposed to a fixed point file. The signal can range from minus 770 dB to plus 770 dB. If you want to learn more about 32-bit audio, check out this article. I'll link it in the description as well. Now that sounds really awesome. Let's put that to the test. We have prepared a little experiment here. In front of me are two microphones that are exactly the same. And as a matter of fact, they are the microphones that come with the Track E recorder. One of the microphones is connected to a Zoom H6, which records in 24 bits. And the other one is connected to the Track E, which of course is set to record in 32-bit float. I'm about 15-20 uh, centimeters from those microphones and uh, both of them are peaking at around minus 12 dB when I speak into them like with my normal talking voice. I'm not going to change the input gain on the microphones and my son back there is going to play some drums and we see how the microphones cope with the loudness of the instrument.
a little disclaimer at this point. Of course, you cannot go all the way up to 700 dB and all the way down to minus 700 dB because there is physical limitations to the microphone, but you have much more dynamic range than on a 24-bit audio recording. The Trekkie is an awesome device, especially for small crews or one-man bands. You stick it on your talent, you start recording and you don't worry about audio levels. I want to make one last comment about the supplied microphone which is a decent enough lav mic that uh, sounds a bit muffled, but overall is a good microphone for doing interviews. If crisp and clean audio is important to you, then you should budget for a better microphone, like for example, a VT500 or something like that. That's it for this review. Drop us a line if you have questions or comments, or if you have worked with the Track E yourself. Thanks for watching.